Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Blair and I'm so excited to be sitting down and filming this video. It's been about two weeks since I've sat down to film a video and I really need this today, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I am so excited because we're using some new products today. We are trying the new Clean at Sephora makeup line that they just came out with. I have the foundation, I have some lip products, and I also have the cream to powder eyeshadow palette. And we're going to try all of that out today. That is what I have on my face, and I'm going to give you my first impression. So if you're interested in my first thoughts and impressions on the new Clean at Sephora makeup line, please keep watching, and let's go ahead and get started. I feel so happy to be sitting down and filming a video. It's been about two weeks since I filmed a video and I've just been so busy and I've kind of been in a little bit of a rut. I just, I don't know, I guess just with all the changes going on and worrying about moving and work and life, just everything has just kind of been getting in the way of me sitting down and taking a little bit of time for myself and filming a video. So that is what I'm going to do today. And I'm really excited because we are going to be using a new foundation today. And it's the Sephora Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. This recently just launched at Sephora and it is actually considered a clean at Sephora makeup line, I guess. They did have the Sephora Clean Skin Care and now they have the makeup. So we have a foundation, some lip products, and also a eyeshadow palette. So we are going to try these things out today. I have not tried any of this at all and I've had this for like two weeks and I haven't even tried it yet, which is crazy for me. So I have primed my skin. I used my Bite Beauty Change Maker Primer and I do have a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury corrector on my eyes and that is it. So I have the foundation pulled up on my Sephora app and this is the Sephora Collection Clean Glowing Skin Foundation. It is $20 and it comes in 20 shades so it's not a huge shade range but it's not horrible. This is supposed to be a light coverage and more of a radiant foundation. The description says this foundation is a clean foundation that leaves skin looking radiantly healthy and hydrated with weightless buildable coverage. So we'll test that out today. It says skin types normal to dry. So I guess they're not saying this is great for oily skin. We'll see. I don't have oily skin. I definitely have more of a normal to dry skin type. Uh, so that's about it for the foundation. It's supposed to have better ingredients, hence the fact that it's from the Clean at Sephora line. I haven't seen very many people reviewing this. It hasn't been out for very long, but I feel like I haven't seen like any, hardly anybody on YouTube talking about this. So I got mine in the shade number 7. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. So it's not as runny as I was thinking it was going to be since it's supposed to be a pretty light coverage. It's a very gloomy day out today, so that's why the background looks so dark. It's very gloomy looking today. So, I'm just gonna take some on my fingers. Don't mind this lovely zit I have right in between my eyebrows. I very rarely break out, so anytime I'm getting like a blemish anywhere on my face it's because I'm stressed most likely or it's hormonal one or the other because I just do not typically have an issue with um, pimples or I never have at least which I know I'm very lucky now that we've got that kind of dotted all over I'm going to use my Smashbox full coverage foundation brush and I'm using this brush to see how much coverage we can get from this since this is a very uh, dense foundation brush. I should be able to get as much coverage as possible 
with this product from this brush. And this shade looks like a really good match for me, actually. Okay, so it's definitely very radiant, as you can see, which I personally love. Okay, so right off the bat, this looks very, very nice. Um, and it's actually giving more coverage than I thought it was going to because it says it's a light coverage, but this is a pretty good, I would say this is more of a light medium coverage. It is definitely very radiant. So if you don't love radiant foundations, you probably won't love this. I love trying foundations and liking them immediately. Okay, yeah, this looks really nice, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is glowy, but it doesn't look oily or anything. It just looks very radiant, like it says. Uh, and it is giving a decent amount of coverage. I mean, it's not covering everything perfectly, but I didn't expect it to. You can definitely still see uh, a little bit of my redness peeking through, but not very much. Uh, and I haven't put on concealer yet either. So this is looking promising. I'm going to take what's left on my hand and just get it directly on my brush. Since I pumped it out, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I'm just going to try to build this up a little bit on my cheek area. But honestly, this is very impressive. <laughs> um, and I am, like I said, using a full coverage foundation brush. So this brush is very dense. So that's something to keep in mind with foundation. If there's a product that um, is more sheer or more of a light coverage and you want more, try using it with a dense foundation brush, not something that's super fluffy, because that way it's not going to give you a full coverage if it's not a full coverage product. But if you use more of a uh, dense brush, you'll get as much coverage as you can. So far, I'm very impressed with this. We'll see how it looks once I get the rest of my base products on, but so far, I am very impressed with this. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer, do my eyebrows and concealer, and then I'll be back and we will use the eyeshadow palette. I did finish the rest of my face makeup and now we're going to use the eyeshadow palette. This is a really cool concept. So it's a tiny little palette. It's the clean bouncy eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. The colors are so pretty. I love these colors. These are perfect everyday kind of fall tones. 
So on the palette here, it says beauty at your fingertips, touch, swipe, and go. So these are cream to powder shadows. So you're supposed to be able to just use your fingertips and brush them on your eyes. So that's what we're going to try today. I'll quickly swatch them for you. So they are all shimmer shades. You have a gold, a copper, a pink, champagne, kind of a rose gold, and a chocolate brown. Ooh, they're very uh, silky feeling, very lightweight feeling. So there you have the champagne color, the rose gold, and then the chocolate brown. Then you have the gold, the coppery color, and then this is the pink. It kind of looks kind of a light rose gold, I guess. So there are the swatches. So they are not super, super pigmented. I mean, they're pigmented, but they're not intensely pigmented, which does make me think they're going to be really easy to use with your fingers. Um, so we're just going to play with this. I don't think this formula is going to work with a brush, I'm guessing. Um, so let me, I guess I'll try it with a brush. I'm going to take this BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is kind of a taupey shimmer. All right. Okay, so it's definitely giving off a little bit of pigment with the brush, but I, it's not it's kind of a light wash of color. It's not, I'm guessing they could be a little darker if you went in with your finger. So I'm going to go in and just kind of tap that color all over. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. That color is pretty by itself, honestly. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. This is a very taupey, kind of a smoky taupey color. This eye, I'm just going to go in with my finger. So this would be a really good palette to take on the go with you because they are cream to powders. They don't have a lot of fallout, or there is no fallout. Uh, and it's a really tiny, compacted little palette, which is nice. Okay, now I'm gonna take the coppery shade and I'm gonna try this again with my brush. And I'm gonna try to Apply this kind of in my outer V. Okay, so you get a little bit of pigment with the brush, but not a ton. So yeah, I definitely think these are going to work better with your fingers. Now I am going to take the lightest champagne color on my finger. I'm going to pop this right in the center of the lid. I want to take a little bit of the chocolate brown here and kind of smudge it along my lash line. The only thing about having to use your fingers with this palette is it's hard to apply colors in a precise area with your finger. So I'm going to see what happens if I dampen my brush. This is the BK Beauty 204. It's the Smudge It brush. So I'm just going to spray it with my ColourPop spray. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the brown and Okay, so it definitely does give a little bit of color, but it's not um not super pigmented. But it does give you a little bit of color cuz I feel like with a dark brown like this, you're going to have to use a brush because unless you're putting that all over your lid, it's going to be really hard. Yeah, see it's not really wanting to come off right here. Okay, so I'm, build a, I'm building it up a little bit, but yeah, you're not going to get much with a brush it seems like. So. 
I like this, but it depends on how you feel about using your fingers for all of your eyeshadow. I do think that for just one or two shadow looks for quick, easy, everyday kind of makeup, this is a really nice thing to have on hand. And it's a cute little compact. It does have this little um, band here that keeps it shut and it's really small and easy to travel with, which is very nice. Um, but I definitely do think using your finger is your best bet with this one. Maybe I'll take just a tiny bit of the yellow gold and press it right in the center. Yeah, so your finger definitely works the best for sure. Um, which is also kind of hard because like on the lower lash line, I don't really want to use my finger. So I'm going to try with an, another small little brush. Okay, so it does come off a little bit with this brush. It's just not super pigmented. So if you're someone that likes a lot of pigment in your eyeshadows, and you're not okay with using your fingers, you probably won't love this. But you can see that did deposit a little bit of color under my eyes. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. This, if I did not say, is $18. And let's see, what else does it say? This is a vegan and cruelty-free product. The suggested application for this palette does say apply effortlessly with your fingertips. Just touch, swipe, and go. For long-lasting wear, pair with an eyeshadow primer, which if you saw in the earlier clip, I used my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I really like how it looks. I wish they were a little easier to use with brushes, but I do also like the idea of just having something that you don't need any tools for. You can just use your fingers, swipe it on, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes and then I'll be back and we will finish up with the lips. Last but not least, we have two lip products to try. I have the Clean Liquid Lip Mousse, and then I have the Clean Glossy Lip Oil. We'll go in with the Clean Liquid Lip Mousse first. This retails for $15. It comes in 10 shades. This is a clean liquid mousse with whipped velvety texture and highly pigmented colors that gives lips a comfortable, long-lasting satin matte finish. So we're gonna go in with this first. This one is the shade Pine. Uh, it does come in 10 shades, like I said. This one is, I believe, more of a peachy nude. Ooh, they feel very thin and lightweight. Definitely very moussey. So that is the color pine. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love it. Okay, I did use a little bit of my e.l.f. Retro Paradise Lip Liner. This is, I believe, nude number two. And now we're going to go in with this liquid lip. And you guys know I never wear liquid lipsticks, but I saw this and I really wanted to try it. It looked very interesting to me. So I'm going to go in. Ooh. Wow, this is the definition of velvety. It's thin. It kind of feels like suede, if that makes sense. That, that's such a weird thing to say, but it feels like a very thin suede. Wow, this is maybe the thinnest feeling liquid lip I've ever tried. It kind of reminds me of ColourPop has a liquid lip formula that feels very similar to this. It's very thin and hydrating, but yet it's a matte velvety lip. It's so interesting. Oh, 
this color is so pretty too. It's very, very nude. So if you don't like nude, you probably won't like this color. It does come in some deeper shades and some pinkier shades also, but that is really nice. Really like that. This is definitely a very moussey feeling product. So I do agree with them calling it a moussey liquid lip. That's exactly what this feels like. But typically when I think of mousse, I think of something really thick, which is what makes this so interesting. It's very thin and hydrating feeling. It feels very comfortable on the lips, which for me is saying a lot because I am not a liquid lip fan, but I actually like this. And last but not least, we're gonna try the Clean Glossy Lip Oil. So these retail for $12 and they come in, let's see, eight shades. The shade that I have is, again, a nude, of course, and it's called 02 Apricot. So here is the swatch of the lip oil. See how pretty and glossy that is? Oh, I love it. I can tell this is going to be really pretty with this over it. Oh, wow. This is the perfect combo together if you like a new lip. This in the shade Pine and this in the shade Apricot. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love glossy. I love lip gloss in general, but I love a lipstick that's more matte and then putting a gloss on top. Oh, I love it so much, but this combo this is going to be one of my new favorite lip combos, I can already tell, especially for fall. I love this. So that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really needed to sit down and film this video, and I am pleasantly surprised with these products. This foundation, you guys, I don't know how it's going to wear throughout the day, and I'm not going to be able to do a wear test today I don't think but I will leave updated thoughts on these products in the description box when this video goes up I'm gonna continue to wear this and let you guys know what I think but so far this foundation is beautiful and I'm not kidding it is gorgeous in fact as a lot of you know I am getting ready to move so I'm in the process of packing things up and that's what I'm gonna be doing once I finished filming this video and I'm actually thinking about leaving this foundation out now um, and kind of keeping this in my to-go makeup bag because that's how impressed I am with this so I will keep you guys updated but so far I love how this looks love it love it love it also this lip combo I'm not kidding I think this is gonna be one of my go-to lip combos from now on I also think the lip oil on its own would be really pretty. If you're not a fan of liquid lips, I totally get it because I'm not typically either. And you don't like something thick feeling on your lips, but you want something pretty opaque in color that lasts. I might look into this from Sephora. I don't know how long these lip products will last yet. I will leave a comment below in the description box as well to update you, but so far, I'm very impressed. I do really like the palette also. My only issue with this is that they definitely do, as you guys saw, apply best with your fingers. So for some of the darker shades, if you're wanting to use it in really precise areas, that can be kind of tricky to do with your fingers. But I also think this is a genius idea for just a really easy everyday palette. And I love that they are cream to powder formula so they're super easy to use very beginner friendly if you're not the best with eyeshadow I think this would be a really great addition to your collection and it's relatively affordable also so I'm very impressed with this collection I must say the foundation though is probably going to be my favorite thing so far I just think this is my kind of look for foundation. I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I will leave my updated comments below and I'll let you know what I'm thinking of these products after I've continued to use them for a few days. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you very, very soon. 
Like I said, I am in the process of moving, so for the next few weeks I may only be able to do one video a week instead of two. It's just a lot going on right now, but I will be back to two videos a week soon, and I can't wait to share this new chapter with you guys. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.